I think uh, we've been blessed because um, our consulate in Los Angeles, which was established in 2006, um, covering 13 western states, I think the most beautiful states of the United States, including the state of Colorado and the state of California. And I think it makes my colleagues sometimes jealous because we cover states like Hawaii and Alaska and Montana and even the Yellowstone Park. I think that's an amazing part of our job. But also, it's, the United States is a very diverse nation, and it's very difficult to cover uh, the entire states from one coast. I, I studied in the States, I lived in the Midwest, so I understand the differences. So what we've been always thinking in uh, the government of Azerbaijan realizes that, and we're thankful for making the move of opening the consulate in Los Angeles, is that we need to reach out to Americans throughout the nation, not only in one place, not only in two places, not only on the East Coast, but also on the West Coast. And I, I must say, people have been very receptive. And uh, it was very, I was been, it's been a pleasure to work with people, in both in California and also in the Rocky Mountain states. I mean, that's our first visit to Colorado. And already we had an excellent set of meetings, uh, both uh, with the mayor, uh, the great man, uh, we share a lot, including the Lapo Czech beer. We uh, also been to the University of Denver. I had a very interesting discussion with students there, very impressed by the quality of students at the Colbell School. Then, of course, went to the Colorado School of Mines, and coming from Azerbaijan, I appreciate their interest in, uh, and their expertise in mining and petroleum engineering. Then I also had an opportunity to speak at the Colorado Foothills and Denver uh, were the first council. Also a very distinguished audience of people who have been actually very well informed. And those things all come together. They show that we need to do more outreach to people and to tell the story of Azerbaijan, which I do believe is a very appealing story to many Americans. The first thing which actually, when you come to Colorado, you see uh, is mountains and mountains of the Caucasus in Colorado. In a way, both high and, and similar. In, in a way, I, I felt very much at home when we landed in Denver. You could see around and see the mountains. We went to the beautiful uh, Red Rocks uh, Amphitheater. That's, that looks very much like the canyons in Azerbaijan. Now, there is a community here, uh, not, a, not a large one. Most of the Azerbaijani communities is either in uh, New York, Washington area on the East Coast or in California, as a matter of fact. But there are some people here, and I was very heartened to see our friends, uh, to meet with some Azeris here. It was a, it was a good opportunity. What, what, what Azerbaijanis, I think, and Coloradans share, and it probably goes to for the all Americans, it's the openness and diversity and the readiness to accept new ideas and move forward based on their civic identity, not on ethnic, religious, or racial identities, but to judge people on not who they are, uh, uh, how they were born, but what they do. I think that's a very fundamental similarity between the American society and Azerbaijani society, is that you build your um, success and attitudes to people and a social relationship based on people's actions, regardless of their ethnic and religious and racial background. Over the years, Azerbaijan has proven to be a reliable partner of the United States, and the United States have been a very strong supporter and a friend of the Azerbaijan. Many things which we achieved in the region uh, are basically due to American support, at least partly. Azerbaijan has troops in Afghanistan and in Iraq. It's the only Muslim nation to do so in Iraq. Uh, Azerbaijan and the United States work very closely in a strategically important area of the Caspian region. One of the key factors we're trying to do is to curb uh, the spread of uh, weapons of mass destruction. We work together in the areas of preventing growth of radical movements, both religious and ethnic, and also, of course, the a matter of energy security of Europe. You know, you know Azerbaijan is, a, is trying to become a major supplier of gas, natural gas, to the uh, European Union and to European nations. But in so doing, Azerbaijan would contribute to diversifying gas supplies in the region. As you know, for instance, the bakut bilisi Jehan pipeline already supplies a significant chunk of uh, non-OPEC oil 
to the world market and it uh, it comes from Baku, it terminates in the Turkish port of Jehan and for instance it provides 30% of the Israel's oil supplies. All that together shows that this could be a very fruitful partnership. I, uh, again, regardless of who comes to power on in November, to the, uh, it, it gets elected in November, it gets to, uh, inaugurated on January 20 in, uh, in the United States, I think the partnership will continue to be a strong one. Thank you very much for working out the news, and it's, it's great to be in Colorado. Thank you.